exhibitionist, you know. And <laughs> Kathy, so next thing. I know there's something else that drives you crazy. Oh, the baby powder. Oh, my God. This guy loves baby powder. We should invest in stocks and baby powder. <laughs> he loves baby powder. He puts baby powder on his chest and his back and his feet all in there. He walks and he puffs as he walks. <laughs> He uses. I'm 265 pounds. Six to 270. 265 sounds better. But 265. I sweat like a dog. So I baby powder that makes me feel comfortable. But not so much powder, baby. Oh, okay. Eric, what do you have to and say I about the baby you. powder? Well, maybe he's just trying to smell good for you, girl. Thank you, that or he's baby. trying to recreate Scarface in the bathroom. You never know. <laughs> at Chippendales and stuff. Is that like a demin de use baby powder? Is that? Yeah. It's a nice additive. You know, if you want to stay dry, and especially, you know, living in Vegas part of the year, definitely. A little baby powder in the drawers, and I don't know about all over. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm picturing him, from what she's describing, I'm picturing this stuff is everywhere. It's you know. everywhere. And again, I said we have a tiny apartment, so it's all over the apartment. I go to the bathroom. If I go I to the bathroom, I can listen to you talk I all day. I, I love your accent. It's I can listen to you talk all day. Our, our next annoying guy accent. habit questions from Bianca. Where's Bianca? Hi, Tyra. Hi, Bianca. So every time I ask my fiance to do something and he's watching a cartoon or he's playing a video game, he tells me one more minute. But it's never one more minute. minute. Like, we almost relate to the show. <laughs> I'm afraid that when we get married, he's going to be late and I'm going to be standing there because he's playing a video game for one more cartoon. minute. So what is it with grown men's obsessions? Uh, do you need to help me with this, Chuck? I do not understand this. I dated a guy uh, that was all into video games. I have to tell you this much, that uh, quite frankly, we have a gene that makes us that way. <laughs> This is, uh, you, you can look it up, it's in the Bible and in some kind of medical dictionary. And uh, it's called the Peter Pan Gene, which allows us to enjoy cartoons and video games immensely, okay? Now, if you want your man to stop watching uh, video games, don't just say, baby, let's go, baby, we're late. Stand in front of the video game and take your top off. <laughs> Now take out the trash. <laughs> Danielle has a question. Where's Danielle? That's so funny. Hi, Danielle. What's your question Hi. for our boys? Um, the other day, I was in the grocery store with my boyfriend, and I noticed that he was adjusting himself in the middle of the aisle, and I was wondering why guys do that. Yeah, why do you guys do that, Eric? Why do you guys just keep... <laughs> This is a phenomenon to you ladies. We're built differently. Like you ladies, you're probably, it's like a glove box. You know, it's, everything's inside. Guys, we dangle, we morph, we shift, we move. We just want to be comfortable. Half the time we're walking around, it feels like we got, like we're in a hammock. Why would you do that in public? That's gross. Let me tell you, what you want to worry about is the man who doesn't have to adjust. <laughs> Things are amazing, things are good, but when their friends come around, they act like five-year-olds. So I would like to know, I understand getting excited, but why do guys feel the need to be immature when they're amongst each other? With their guy friends, yes. yeah. What's that about, Billy? Well, I'll, you know, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we, got, we got a couple in the audience. Uh, it basically, it goes back to creature habit. Girls, don't look into this too much. We grew up with our friends and we get used to, maybe we have a different language or a handshake or something that's kind of crazy. Every group of guys has something different where they're calling each other names or whatever. Listen, it's just, it's our comfort zone. These were the people that we hung out with before we hung out with you 24 hours a day. So don't overlook that too much. Next, haven't you always wanted to know? Why every time that I have sex with my boyfriend, I want to talk, I want to cuddle with him, and he just wants to go right to sleep. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I put everything into that three minutes. I'm <laughs> full of guys today too we have a guy team here that are sounding off we have billy and we have eric and chuck and they're breaking down men's habits that make women say what the hell is this about why is he doing this <laughs> and they're 
Amanda, what's okay, your question? Okay, so when I'm stressed out, you know, I talk on the phone, I vent, I go shopping, I spend lots of money, but when my boyfriend gets stressed out, it's like, watch out, he gets so aggressive, it's like he's gonna punch a hole through the wall. Why do guys get so stressed out and get all aggressive about it? Why do you guys get aggressive, Chuck? Well, I mean, first of all, we come with a little, a little biological monster that grows within us since we're a little teeny boy, and it's called testosterone. <laughs> and that biological difference makes us naturally more aggressive. But you saying this guy's like punching walls, and so now what I'm gonna say is, you might be okay for now, but he needs to get some anger management, <laughs> okay? Because you don't want walls to turn into you. Yeah. And and quite frankly, the only defense I could have for him is maybe he secretly hates walls. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren is next. Where's Lauren? All right, so I've always wondered why every time that I have sex with my boyfriend, I want to talk, I want to cuddle with him, and he just wants to go right to sleep. But yet, he can go to the gym for five hours, work out, and he's fine, you know, to go out to the club and drink. And Why do guys fall asleep after? Billy, why do you guys fall asleep after? I can't speak for the rest of the guys, but I'm going to tell you what. I put everything into that three minutes. I'm <laughs> I hate to sound like a know-it-all, but there are two things that are secreted during, hormones secreted during sex. One is called uh, oxytocin. I think the other one's called prolactin. And that causes men to want to go to sleep. The other thing, too, is, like he said, we're working hard. You know what I mean? Well, what like, are we doing? We're not just lying there. Like, not all of us are yeah, lying. Yeah, but y'all have no pressure on you. You don't have no pressure. Like, we're not only working hard, but we're being psychologically tortured at the same time. It's like, I hope this is working for her. I hope it's working for her. I hope it's working for her. Stand on up, Bethany. Oh, my God, Tyra is so unfair. I have a huge problem with cellulite. So and do I, I girl. I, <laughs> I work out with my guy friends. Their legs are flawless. I want to know why don't guys get cellulite? Billy, you don't have it. I've seen your butt. You don't have a stitch of dimple in your... <laughs> like, how come guys don't have dimples in their butt? There's no I cellulite. This, I get this question a lot at my, at my vitamin store back home. And basically, you know, I'll give you, like, the scientific answer. And that is actually men and women have very different skin and the under layers of those skin. And guys, actually, we've got got the cellulite, okay, but our skin just holds it flatter, and girls have a different makeup of their skin, so that's actually what's happening, but like we talked about earlier in the segment, the beer bellies and the man boobs and all that stuff, trust me, we have cellulite, our skin just unfortunately holds so it just better. pushes yeah. it in. Yeah. You need some man skin, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriella is next. Where's Gabriella? All right, this might sound a little bit random, but every time I'm out with my girls and the guys, we're always breaking our seal first, like, to go to the bathroom, and we're always going, and you guys never seem to go. Why do girls always have to go pee more than guys? <laughs> Eric? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I didn't even know girls peed. <laughs> I have not been in a relationship long enough to get to that comfort level. I usually just, the girl goes in, I hear nothing, I gotta press up, like, is she alright in there? Was she? I gotta do a little knock, like, you okay? Everything good? I didn't even know y'all peed. <laughs> what about peeing in front of a girl? No, like, I've never do done that. You've no. never done that? I, I, I run the sink, I do a little flush before, so she can't even hear what I'm doing. <laughs> she can't hear. Next up is Carla. Yeah. Um, my man, he snores so loud. Like, you could hear him through the window outside when I'm walking home. <laughs> like, that loud. And much, much louder than me. Like, why do men snore so loud? Why do men snore so loud, Chuck, Billy? I, I'm trying to figure out how you know he snores louder than you when you're the one who's sleeping when you snore. <laughs> You play those psychological games just like, you snore. You know what, girl? You snore, too. I don't snore half as loud as you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> internet girl and I recently came across this really fun, funny blog and it's called my husband is annoying and <laughs> first I thought it was like a website of like a bunch of people like sending in things about what's annoying about their husbands but then I was like wait no it's not um, newlyweds Tiffany and Mark um, from Brooklyn New York are here and it's actually a website that Tiffany came up with and it's about her husband Mark that's it that's what it's about Thank you, dear. and they <laughs> and they got a hundred thousand hits in three oh weeks and it was just something funny that you did.
did. How did how did you come up with this? Uh, you, Mark was walking the dogs one night, and I was playing around playing around on the computer, and um, I, I, there was a template, it was like an iWeb template, and I was like, oh, I you know I want to play around with this, but I don't really have anything to say. So the first thing that that popped into my head was my husband is annoying. <laughs> so. And I, I walked back in with the dogs, and she's sitting there laughing her head off, and I said, what are you laughing at? And she couldn't talk, so she just turned the computer, and I saw a picture of me passed out on the couch. <laughs> and it said, my husband is annoying.